The beach is beautiful, but the service is just wretched. Just, just atrocious. I won't be back. Good morning. It's Brian. And Melissa. And, and Nipples. And we're in Falmouth, Jamaica. Uh, today, uh, what, are we, what are we doing today? It's called Bamboo Beach Escape with Lunch. I have no idea what it's going to be like. Hopefully it'll be a beautiful beach. All right, check out that beautiful ship. So we're here in Falmouth, and the weather seems to be beautiful. Uh, of course, we went way south of the storm, and uh, we're clear of it. So let's go check out this port. In port with us. It's also the explorer of the seas. Check out this port area. This is so cool. It makes this neat V between the two ships. You have all these neat shops. Well, shops we've kind of seen before, but still pretty area. It's a little kiosk back here. It's called the with port patties. P O T P O R T port. But it's actually a beef meat pie, basically, is what it is from Jamaica. I've had them before, they're so good. It's got spice. Ooh! It's got spices in it, and it's got a kick. <laughs> I guess I would have known to expect that, but it hit the back of my throat and like fire. Oh, that's so good. Mm. The outside is flaky. Fresh. I could eat probably about 10 of these. What an amazing deal. These are delicious. And, and it's only $3. Bring cash. But, oh my gosh. It's probably the best deal I've seen. So good. So our pickup is at station number four. Hopefully it's not too, too far away. All right. There's five. Aha. Here it is. Things started to go south even before we left the port as we waited an hour on the bus after the scheduled departure time. Why do you think it's me? Okay. Yes. 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 So, Yaman? Yes. Yes. Alright, let's check out the speech. A little bit of a reef right there. Let's we'll see if we can get around that. So he's been handed off to like three different people. I'm supposed to get a wristband. I still don't have one. These are so loud I can hear myself think. Not a good start. So you're assigned a waitress. You have to wait for that particular waitress to bring you your drink. She's got a She's not my waitress. Too bad. So there's kind of this little cove. It's a little, a little rocky, you know, but the uh, water's real pretty. Not a whole lot of seafood. Not a whole lot of seaweed. <laughs> Well, I haven't had any seafood yet. There was some seafood in here, but you had to catch it quicker. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a slow start uh, for the uh, for the excursion. Uh, we'll kind of weigh in on it later. Yeah. It's pretty up here, but down there, pretty murky. It's hard to see much. So that creepy thing is a sharp tail snake eel. We got out of the water pretty quick after this. I don't know. I don't ever go back to the short excursion desk and complain, but when we get back to the ship, I'm going to the short excursion desk. So there is a bar right here that you can go buy drinks. But after having paid to be here, I, I don't want to spend another dime 
on drinks until I at least get served one that I paid for. The beach is beautiful, but the service is just wretched, just, just atrocious. I won't be back. After complaining a little bit, service did, did improve. We ended up with all of the drinks and plates and things and so on. Uh, just a shame it took, to, took doing that to get it to improve. The food we finally did receive included rice and sausage and some surprisingly good jerk chicken. It was cooked right there on site. Unfortunately, there were no tables, so we had to eat balancing it on your knee. After enduring all we could, we boarded the bus where we again waited over an hour to begin the 45 minute ride back to the port. What is that? Did you see where you're pointed I think that's the closest we've ever cut it. Uh, it's like six minutes till all aboard. Ooh, I don't like cutting it that close. It is after 4.30. The terminal's full of people still trying to get through security. We were the only ones. Woo. Like everything was running late. I, I don't know, it was crazy. A lot of stuff. There's hundreds of people still trying to get on and it's two minutes after everybody on board time. So we'll be online to get on board here very soon. But uh, yeah, I don't like that they kind of close. We're definitely going to need to talk about the excursion today. We went to the Bamboo Beach Club with lunch, was what the excursion was called. We went through the Royal Caribbean app and it was 69 bucks per person. It was a bit of a disappointment um, and it, I think that's probably putting it mildly. There were a lot of things that I think kind of contributed to this, but uh, number one, it just seems very, very disorganized. And it was, we, we finally got there and they, they said we had two hours. Well then we got out and we were handed over to one girl and there was like three bus loads. We were handed over to one girl. We were a pretty good group. And she walks us through, then she kind of disappeared. And then I saw her handing some drinks to some people over here and then doing giving some people a wristband over here. And then I finally got one, but she'd run out so she had to go. go. It was just like, a, like he started with, Disorganized. Well, totally disorganized. It took a long time to just just get a drink, and, and I mean a water. Like water. I, you know, I mean it's, it's kind of hot. I had like a glass of water, and we literally asked four times for for a drink, something to drink. Mm -hmm. um, they brought around plantains, appetizers, several several times. Uh, we finally had to just go beg at, at the yeah. bar. So we were seated like basically behind the bar, and that's okay because you can walk to the beach and get in the water. And they brought you a little plate, and then she showed up with another little plate. It was, and you just kind of, we were in our little chairs and we were like balancing, trying to eat. It, no it was table. just, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, there's no, no table tables. to eat. So basically had to have three arms to hold your plate. And it was too. just odd. And compared to what we've done in, in the past and in, like in Cozumel, the, the experiences we had with beach days that are amazing oh, yeah. and they're falling over themselves, trying, making sure you have everything you need. It was a disappointment. Yeah, it was a big difference in the, in the level of service. We, we, you've seen the videos there of our experience at, uh, at a couple of beach clubs in in Cosmo, they were outstanding. The service was was impeccable. Uh, this was was not that. Uh, I would not do this again. Uh, oh no! Absolutely not. From from a travel agent standpoint, I would tell any client that I put on a ship going to Bahamas not to do this excursion. So I'm kind of chalking that, this up to to that situation. And it's entirely possible that folks went and had a great time. They might have had a much better server than ours was and uh, and, and, and got good service. And she wasn't rude. She was really friendly. I mean, everybody was friendly. It was like she, she this one person who we only could get stuff on was handling too many people. Yeah. I will say when they brought the plate of jerk chicken, that that chicken, I did get two little plates of that because the, the jerk chicken was delicious and that's something I enjoy in Jamaica. It wasn't the most beautiful beach I'd ever seen. It was um, it was, it was, was a little murky, but um, it was, yeah, it was rocky. I love to get in the water and, and look for creatures. And so I had my goggles on and <laughs> I did some swimming. We had to go pretty far out. It was a little murky, but I was able to see some fish. So that was good. And I saw a little, it's a sea snake or a sea eel. You'll see it in the video. I thought that was exciting because I had no idea what it was. It was kind of the end though of my, because I kept thinking, what if I would have put my foot down right there? So I'm like, okay, swimming, swimming too short now. Got my video. The one that just capped it off for us was uh, was 
we, we try real hard not to be late back onto the ship. I mean, that's kind of a big deal. Yeah, I'm not a pier runner. The bus to return us back to the, to the boat was supposed to leave at 3.20. Didn't actually leave until much, much later. The, the driver was great. He was he was kind of fussing too, going, you know, we were supposed to leave. He, he got us back and got as close as he could once we got into the port where we could get off. We thought, oh my goodness, we're gonna be just this one small group trying to get back on the boat. Cause at that point it was it was straight up 4.30. I wasn't really worried about honestly being left, but I just don't like being right on or, or past the well, back on board time. And, and that's right, and we, we were so late that it really cut out the ability to do any kind of shopping. Like, and I wanted to get some Blue Mountain coffee. I love Blue Mountain coffee, but we were so late. I, I just made a beeline straight straight for the, the boat and didn't get to stop in and get my Blue Mountain coffee. So I'm kind of bummed about that. But, oh. but on an upside, we had a great dinner. We enjoyed a wonderful show uh, and it was a pretty good day. I mean, we were in Jamaica, so it was pretty good overall. So that wraps up tonight. See you later. All right, tomorrow is a sea day. Um, I'll probably do a little bit of work in the morning and then, uh, then we'll kind of see what kind of trouble we can find in the afternoons. Bye.